I stand here and I'm very pleased to join our historical commission and our friends of Casa Navarro State Historic Site to celebrate the birthday of Jose Antonio Navarro. He was a Renaissance man. He was a rancher, a merchant, a statesman. He was only one of two native-born Texans that signed the Declaration of Texas Independence. He served in the Texas legislatures under the federal government of Mexico, under the Republic of Texas, under the state of Texas, and he served on the committees that wrote the first two Texas constitutions in 1836 and 1845. Was a leading advocate for Tejano rights and at this original 1850s adobe and limestone home. It was the last remnant of a, the historically Mexican west side of San Antonio that at one time had been known as Laredito. Today, as we are here to honor Jose Antonio Navarro, the Texas statesman, patriot, and 19th century leader for Tejano civil rights, um, we're excited to welcome this as America's newest national historic landmark. Congratulations to you all. This place deserves national recognition. And so to have it move forward and become a National Historic Landmark is a, a very personal goal and something I'm really, really happy to say we've managed to accomplish. Today we really are celebrating a new marker, one that will honor the legacy and the history of Jose Antonio Navarro. Today we celebrate his recognition by the rest of this great nation. Helping to preserve historic landmarks like Casa Navarro and the Alamo are important not only to bring the past alive, but in helping many of us remember and some of us know where we come from and who we come from. <laughs>